what we're gonna do is we're gonna here I'm gonna pop the engine cover first. And you're supposed to have like five of these little screws, but I only have like two. Um, I'm not really sure why. But I think I'm just missing. Uh, so that's off. And what I want to do is just relocate this um, so it's not right on top of, you know, the access to the spark plugs and stuff. So it's easier to change those. And I'm probably going to paint the valve cover in a future video. Um, I'm going to need to get a new gasket and stuff for that. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. Um, and I'm going to get higher heat paint so it doesn't happen like what happened with the header where it just goes up in smoke and burns all the paint off. So all I really need to do is remove this bolt and then just I got a piece of vacuum hose and that's really all you need in a couple hose clamps. Okay, so this is a 10 mil socket. Um, and the cool thing about this is that I'm just going to move this thing over to one of these. And the good news is, it is also a 10 mil. So save this nut, or just don't throw it away, I guess. Because you get to reuse it, so that's kind of cool. Um, this is really hot, I just drove it. Okay, so you're also going to need to remove these little um, bolts. Uh, I don't know actually what size they are. Um, a Torx T30 will fit. Um, I just couldn't find the right Allen key, so. Right, and there's another one of those right down in here. Right, so that's all it is, a little bracket. Mm, that can just, some good weight reduction right there. All right, so I screwed up just a little bit. Um, I forgot to get a little hose barb um, and it's like 502, so Napa just closed, but I already started, so I kind of want to finish this today. Um, and I found this little metal tube. It's for like a uh, the front of a um, one of those air nozzles for an air compressor. And I don't really, I've never used it. I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just gonna take a pipe cutter and cut it, and I'll use that. And I'll just cinch down on the hose clamp, so hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Um, yeah, so if you're going to do this, definitely buy one of those little hose barbs. They're probably like 30 cents. And, um, that would have been the better way to go, but I didn't do that, so. But this little thing should should work. Um, I don't think that'll be a problem. Then. But then I'm just going to grind this down a little on the grinder. Okay, so I wasn't quite sure what this was made of. Um, now I know it's definitely aluminum. Um, a lot of these grinders have no aluminum written on the sides. Um, now I know why. It was just like reflecting off and it didn't grind well at all. So I'm going to try to grind that with a file or with a knife or something. So luckily this is like really low quality aluminum. It's super soft so it's actually easy to carve with a knife. And I'm just taking the inside out so it doesn't have any birds or any chips in the, uh, the vacuum system, I don't think that would be good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing you gotta do is just cut this um, hose clamp off. It's one of those one-time use ones. I don't even know if you can see it. Um, yeah, it's down in there. There it is. So I gotta cut that off. That goes right up to this. And uh, this is really rigged, but bolt cutters make it way easier to cut those. Um, it's pretty hard to cut them with bikes. These clips are real painting it off. Alright, so this just pulls right off and put the barb into this. Alright, got that on. Now I just have to attach it to this one, throw another hose clamp on there, and make it whatever distance desired to get to that. with this makeshift bar, but I want to make sure I get one there extra tight, so I'm just wrenching this. Hard to get them real tight with the screwdriver. So, 
There it is. All right, before I attach this down here, I'm just gonna drop it back to where I want it. I'm gonna use one of these already existing screws. That should be fine right there. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. And obviously don't forget to reattach this. I'm gonna just kind of snake it through and back into this instead of having it kind of flop all around the way it is right now. Okay, so I got this all snaked through the way I want it. Um, it just kind of goes down and then under and around that way. But um, just remember not to bend that too much. Make sure there's not a kink in it because if there is, it won't work. Um, now I'm just gonna put this, drop this down in here throw a hose clamp on it first so you don't put it on there and then have to take it off again and put the hose clamp on and then that should be pretty much it i removed this thing right here just so i could get in there a little bit easier so yeah, all i gotta do is just tighten this unfortunately the only hose clamp i had left was kind of huge but it seems to be working yeah that's good right there um, yeah it's got this huge tail hanging off which i'm probably gonna try to bend around there and then I just gotta reattach this and that should be it. Alright, and that's it. And I think I'm gonna leave my um my engine cover off now. So I'm probably gonna pull off these little brackets. All these ones that just hold the engine cover on, because that, that's kind of the point. I want it to be so you can see all these better if you're changing your spark plugs, it's just as easy to just pull this one on. Now you gotta, you gotta take that thing off. I kinda like the way that looks. I'm gonna paint these valve cover like I said. Obviously it needs to be cleaned, it's kinda nasty, but um, that'll be in another video, and I don't need any of these little brackets anymore. Also, other news, this is probably the last time this Sentra will ever be in a video. It's my brother's SER, it's when I was driving when I didn't have the, the turbo finished in my car. Um, it's because it's actually for sale, he just bought a new TDI. But, he actually is not just going to sell it, he's going to trade it for something, which... Hopefully you'll see in another video. Hopefully he'll start doing some of these videos with me. I don't think he's going to do too much to the TDI. It's brand new, so I'll probably hold off on that for a little while. But there's a new car coming, um, so that should be pretty cool. And I'm going to keep doing work on this. I just got a, a turbo inlet pipe right here, which I'm going to be installing this weekend. So there's that. That will probably be my next video. So there will be stuff coming soon. Um, this is just a little video on this vacuum line. And like I said, say goodbye to the Sentra because that's the last time we're gonna see it. So all this stuff, that's a good, that's a good pound and a half of weight reduction. So I mean, it's just gonna be so much faster without all this. Look at that perfect set.